here with Lennon from Devil's Gift. Are you all right? I'm, I think I'm still drunk, so I'm doing pretty good. That's all right. Couldn't be right. <laughs> And uh, your band, Devil's Gift, is not here at, at Bloodstock, so what brings you here? Um, basically, we have the record coming out in October here, so I wanted to hit some press, and then we have a two-month tour starting in October, so... Oh, I guess they're both coming out in October. <laughs> I, didn't, I just realized that, sorry. But just to get the word out, because it's a brand new band, not a lot of people know about it, and hopefully get some people out to shows and get them to get the record. Well, I've heard... Uh, well, what you've got on MySpace, and it sounds really good, so... Thank you. I'm hoping you do well. I so do I. <laughs> Are you coming to Nottingham at all? Yes, yeah, so we're, we're playing... Uh, what's that place called? Rock City. Rock City. Brilliant. We might see if we can get there. <laughs> uh, what are your favourite bands? My favourite bands... Um, actually, right now, the last record I bought was um, the Five Figure Death Punch record. Oh, right. And I, I love that record. Big fan of Opeth, and then big fan of Nine Nails, and... A little bit of everything, even Harry Chapin, sometimes Barry Manilow when I'm bored. Well, why not? Why not? Big on songwriters, though. Did you manage to see Old Pep last night? Yes, I did. I, got, I caught a little bit. I mean, we had a long flight in, so it was kind of by that time gone yeah. completely. So I caught a little bit of it and then just stumbled back to tent and fell asleep. So you just here for today or you? Um, I think we're, we leave tomorrow. Tomorrow. Is that where you're going to next? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Wherever the car takes us. So what do you do to relax when you're not doing touring and promotion? Uh, TV. Watch a lot of TV. I play Legos with my son. I have a three-year-old son. so Just kind of like go to the beach, hang out, be the homebody, try not have to clean the house. Yeah. <laughs> and what things really annoy you the most? Uh, stupidity. Stupidity, stupidity arrogance, um, not being who you are. People should be real. Yeah. There's no reason to pretend you're something else. Brilliant. So, if anybody's interested, you've got to be real. <laughs> when not touring, um, where do you like to hang out? Um, pretty much, I don't go out much. I stay home a lot because, for me, I don't like to drive. Yeah. So I don't like driving halfway across town to go to a bar and not be able to smoke in the bar. At least when I'm home, I can sit. And yeah. The beer is cheaper. <laughs> I can get drunk and I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. So, but I mean the beach a lot. We do a lot of the beach. Yeah. So we live in Florida, so we're 30 minutes from it. Oh, I see. So, uh, so uh, what ingredients do you think make a good band? Um, people that want to make it work, that look at it as a family, look at it that they're not going to get paid a lot of money, yeah. that they're not going to be in the best hotels. They may not have to take get a shower for weeks, that understand what it's like to be in a band. Yeah. You get a lot of times where kids just think being a rock star is being a rock star. You get like the best tour buses, the best hotels, all the chicks, all the beer, all the food. And it's, most of the time it doesn't happen. Yeah. So if you realize that it's a job like anything else, that makes the best people to work with. Um, I read somewhere you had some problems with using the name Lennon. Is that true? Yes, I'm actually, um, Yoko Ono is suing me for my trademark of Lennon. She wants it and is trying to force me to sell it to her now or plead me dry in legal fees. So. Even though it's your name? Even though it's my name, even though I own it for um, recordings and live performances and I don't think John Lennon's going to be doing any live performances and he never rent, went by just Lennon anyway. Yeah. It's kind of, she just wants it and I don't even know what it's about. Yeah, fair. Uh, if you could buy an album, what would you buy? Which, which uh, for, you know, for any any time in history, which one would you buy? Buy an album? Yeah. Oh, music's free nowadays. Why would I buy an album? Yeah, you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't encourage that. You lose, you lose your profit. <laughs> hey, I actually I give away all my Lennon stuff for oh. free on my MySpace because I'd rather have pe new people listen to the music yeah. than thirteen bucks. Yeah. Because in the long run, it's going to help me. Yeah. Buy an album. Uh, probably the one album that I have bought 5,000 times because I keep losing it is Ziggy Stardust. I just love that record. Oh, yeah. It's just such an amazing, so many different styles and stories to it. It's amazing. Yeah. And finally, if you could uh, make a law to change the world for the better, what law would you make? Um, what law would I make? It's okay. 
I would make a law that no mosh pits at pop shows. <laughs> or like like pop bands, like yeah. right, like when like Oh, it's, it just gets funny, like like when in the States you have like all the college kids and they'll go to like the Foo Fighters, which I love the Foo Fighters, but then they start this mosh pit and you're just, I just sit there going, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Why? It, it doesn't even work. It's just, you look stupid. You're drunk and you're not doing it right either. Everyone's getting hurt. That that I don't like. So I like it when it's real. So you make mosh pits illegal at rubbish concerts? <laughs> no, I, 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 I little scared of the mosh pits myself, getting into them myself, so I always stand outside of them. Even I do, I'm a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> I usually stand behind like someone like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll just stand back here. I think I'm a bit too old for it. Yeah, I, I think I could probably really hurt myself, and I physically hurt myself way too much anyway, so. Okay, thanks a lot. No problem, thank you. Yeah.